Do it again, I want to see your pony tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no flying today. What is going on in this country? So I'm going to do something with this today. There's a modification I want to do. So we've got a high power upgraded S Max board, which we're going to put in a standard Segway Mini and see what happens. So this should make it a lot faster and give it a lot more power. I think the only other thing is the motors are slightly upgraded on the bigger one, but then, you know, motors are motors, you know, you can push more power. It's just gonna mean it's gonna heat up more. It looks pretty straightforward to change it over as well. Literally, I think the only things you've got to really do are actually just change these connectors on, on the motor phase wires, because obviously on here you have these bigger connectors, that, so they're, they're like three and a half mil, and on here they're sort of diddly little, don't know what they are. Anyway, I can change those over, whip that board out, plug it all in, and then I should be able to activate it and we'll see what happens. What could go wrong? That, and that's what could go wrong. I just pulled the connector off the board. Well, it's actually only the housing. It's pretty straightforward, I've just taken out all four bolts there and four screws there, and then that is now coming out. So, they are a bit different. I mean, apart from this obvious connector here, and then you've got Obviously that connector is actually on this board. See on there they've actually got just like diodes there. And then on this one you've actually got IC. So there's a couple of little differences on these two boards. Um, obviously this is a bit more powerful so. But the main thing is they've got the same number of connectors and everything else is looking right. So all I really need to do is just solder on those split connectors. Which will just plug into the, uh, the phase wires. Okay so I've come across another little problem. So on the board here, this is for the hall sensors, there's two connectors for hall sensors here. So there's six connections on the board and only five on my wires. So usually the way hall sensors work is you've got a ground, you've got a five volts and then you've got three hall sensors in there. Um, and then look, you can actually see on the board it says temp. So what we're missing here is a temp sensor for the motors. So on the bigger S Max Segway, they obviously have heat, they're monitoring the heating of the motors themselves, um, because obviously things are probably getting a bit hotter maybe, I, I don't know, must be the case. Um, but you can see here, look, I've just done the same with this side. So I've kind of put this connector in. What I could do is actually take that housing off and just move it along one, and then it'd fit in there. But it's not coming out as it is. You know what we like on this channel, just love a bit of a bodge job. So I've been talking to the guys that make the firmware for this, so this is how we were able to do this, because you can just swap the board over, and then you have to upload some different firmware to it, and then it should, in effect, work. This board is from AliExpress, it's about 90 quid. The, the Segway that this comes out of, or, you know, the official version of this Segway is like about a thousand pounds, something like that. So the idea is to try and get that sort of performance with um, you know a lot cheaper. You know this Segway I found online for like 300 quid on eBay. So the other thing, of course, is the battery on the S Max is actually bigger. Um, it can provide more current. But remember, in the last, in one of the other videos, um, we've modified the battery. So I'll show you that quickly. So the battery's on charge here. But look, remember I put this little XT60 connector on here, so that enables us to parallel a similar sized battery on top of this with a bit better discharge rate and we're using lipos basically um, on top of this and then that will give you the ability to draw well should give you the ability to draw a lot more current out of it so these are the lipos they're on charge right now there's three of them in total 15s so i'm going to stick my three and a half mil connectors on there where are they there they are there so they fit quite snugly in there I'm going to push that in because I want to get it out. That'll go in there. I'll just heat shrink over the top of that, and then that should be good. Then we've got to worry about software and all that, which you know I will need to contact the guys, get them to send me the info for up updating this board. I think you have to update the BLE as well, Bluetooth LE, um, to be compatible with this board. And then in theory, we should have a faster Segway. Coffee, soldering iron. Let's get busy. There you go, they all connect up pretty nice. Right, just got to do the other side now. Right guys, so it's all good to go. That noise is the charger just blasting away. Um, so we're all good to go. Stick the battery on and see what happens. Oh, it's ridiculously windy out here. Right, moment of truth. It's on and it's actually working. What? I thought you had to update the firmware or something. Right, hang on a minute. Okay, so I'm in the nine tool at and apparently, we type in, apparently type in BLE Max, and then 
blast firmware. Okay, doing something. Updating firmware, four percent. Apparently, this could take a long time. It's taken so many attempts with that app to get this Bluetooth um, updated, but I don't know. It seems to be uh, seems to have done it now, but now it's now it's kind of gone all kind of weird. Okay, it's working. I had to reactivate it in the app as well and run through all the safety steps and now we're on we've got to ride first kilometre before it unlocks the speed. So yeah, I'll just carry on past this one kilometre um, to unlock it. So now I've got a new speed mode, look. So I can actually change it. It's funny, isn't it? Look, it's actually showing it as a, as a max in the app. So we can go into sports mode now. So I've got my three lipos at the ready because that battery pack on that Segway is not going to be man enough for the job. So I'm definitely going to parallel these up before I try it on the go-kart. Right guys, it's time to rock. I've got the batteries in this little bag here which I'm going to strap on the back. The go-kart is ready to go. I've got this new panel from AliExpress with the Mercedes logo. And I've also now got a speedo on here as well, which is going to be pretty cool. And that's just a massive inverter thing that's charging this at the minute. But I think it is done actually now. So it's quite a good little system really because you're sort of, you know, you're using these Velcro straps on the back of this battery thing. Right, so we're all on. So this actually has like a kind of parking brake. So it's kind of, I can't move that. It's got like regen braking. So the other one didn't do that. It would just like roll off down the hill. Okay, look, this is pretty cool. You've got the speedo, but you've actually got access to all the modes now, including Corsa, which is like the track mode one. So before you could only slip flip between eco strada and sport now we've got Corsa guys this is going to be insane all right let's get built it up all right guys you ready for this so we're in eco mode so that's like that's pretty pretty slow that's about as max as we're going to go all right so i think you've got to stop to put it in yeah you got to, you, you can't do that while you're rolling along let's give it a go then whoa that feels kind of, I don't know, a little bit slower than it was before. Brakes are a lot better though. Brakes seem pretty pretty intense. Right, let's try sport mode. Whoa, oh my God, that is quick. That is quick. <laughs> wow, oh my God. That was not going that fast before. So we're doing 28 kilometers, 28 kilometers an hour and you're not getting any back off of power or anything like that, that's just cruising along. Right, let's try the brakes out. Yeah, that's pretty insane. <laughs> okay, right, so we need to try, we need to try the full beans mode. Let's try the full beans mode. Gotta stop, cool sir. Holy moly. That feels so fast. And the braking is nuts as well. What? Jeebus, ah! that is... <laughs> <laughs> He's my helper. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? Right, I think so. Helen's going to do some filming for me. <laughs> Are you going to have a go? I, I can put it in lower power mode. I can smell burning rubber. <laughs> but the motors, the motors still feel feel cold. That's a good thing. Right, let's get down to the bottom of here. Brakes do feel so much better now, which you'd kind of hope <laughs> that they would actually be pretty good. You've also got the handbrake, remember, so you can just uh, you can just pull that up. Okay, so oh, that was the police car then. <laughs> well, there's a police car there. Right, so we're, we're in sport mode. That is crazy. That is crazy powerful. Right, I'm going to try a top speed run down there. Careful. Alright, ready? Acceleration on that, guys. It just keeps pulling. So we're doing 
We're maxing out at like 32 kilometers an hour. They say that it pulls like one, one G or something, 1.05 G or something. We're going uphill now and it's still managing 28. Still doing 28. All right, I'm gonna go off into the distance. I'm gonna come in for a bit of a... <laughs> you can go back on the power. So as soon as you come out of the bend, you can carry it on. You can like power slide. That's insane. Whoa! Whoa! Let's come into the pits and check the check the motor temperatures. I bet they're going to be absolutely scalding. I mean, they're warm, but they're not like hot. Did it, does it look just ridiculous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look like you're on dodgem. <laughs> he feels insane, look right? State, look at the state of that. What? But, yeah. <laughs> right, your go. I'll put it in the low power yeah. mode to start with. Oh, that's covered in mud. Oh, nice. Nice. I've got my, I've got my Ralph Lauren coat on, that's nice. Christ, that's a long way down. <laughs> right, stick your belt on. Oh, there's a belt? That's the, that's the throttle there's, there. I was going to say, tell me where the brake is. The brake is there. And you've also got a handbrake thing there as well. So you can pull that up. But make sure you put your belt on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. I did wonder if there was a safety feature. What? It's a little bit slack. Yeah, because of me. <laughs> look at the, <laughs> the size difference. How do I get that to oh, look there, look. So you used it all up. You used it all up. <laughs> I've used it all up. Okay. Right, so you're in, you're in eco mode at the moment. So just gently press the accelerator. That's it. And then you can brake with the left hand one. Okay, I'm going to go that way because huh? I'm going to go that way. Go that way. If you can make the turn in. <laughs> no, not quite going to make it. Where's, what's reverse? So tap the brake twice. That's it. And then. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then tap, tap it, it again. Just once. Twice. That's it. Okay. Now. That's it. Give it some beans. Give it some beans. Right, so you remember you're in eco mode, so that's like super slow, so just get used to it. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> like that speed, that's like mobility speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be about right. Right, so now, so come to a stop, and then push that red button down. That. Push that down to, you kind of pull it down, put it in sport. Now just just give it full throttle. Oh! <laughs> Done nothing, the splitter. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh god. That is fast. I even feel a bit sick. Whoa! I'm not as brave as you. That is quick. It's good, isn't it? Yes, it it's feels fast, doesn't it? Like the, I actually feel a little bit sick. <laughs> if you just give it like full, pa full like power from the get-go, like feel the power behind you. Put it in coarser mode as well, then. In what? In what mode? One oh. more down. Oh my gosh! There's another mode. That's it. What's that? It's just it's just a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, because I needed that. Yeah, no, that's scary. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Your ponytail comes out. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, I want to see your ponytail. <laughs> go, on, go on, do it. <laughs> that makes such a good thumbnail. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> I love it. It's so brilliant. That's, that's enough now. Classic. Got things, things to do. <laughs> you got things to do? Yeah. Get roped into all of this stuff. <laughs> okay, you can get out now. Thank you. It's so sensitive on that Corsa mode. Like you just literally just touch the pedal and it's like... Whoa. <laughs> I wonder if it'll gut that. 
Well, it did that, no problem. This has actually got hill assist now, look. Let's do a bit of off-roading, shall we? See how this thing handles. Hill hold assist. Oh, feel that power. This is bloody awesome. This is absolutely awesome, guys. It doesn't back off the power at all, it just flies. I'm gonna better check this motor temperature in a sec because this is gonna be, oh dear. Oh, I'm like floating. Yeah! This is the nuts. No! Oh, that's not good! Oh! This is the absolute nuts now. It just doesn't back off the power, so you can just actually just sling it around. Back end all over the place. It is a beast, guys. An absolute beast. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Yes! Oh, I need to check these motor temperatures. This is oh sketchy as hell. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they're hot, but they're not. It's just, just madness, absolute madness. I guess because we're temperatures aren't aren't crazy. You know, here. I mean, in the summer, it probably. Or if you just kept doing this for like a whole hour, it's probably gonna get pretty hot. But I mean, what a load of fun. What a load of fun. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no. I have a horrible feeling I've lost the DJI mic. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I've got one here. I really got to get used to doing my pockets out when I'm on for stuff like this. I think just the lipos are actually the thing that's probably making this happen really. Well, what an absolute blast guys that makes a lot of difference batteries are lightly warm and this the actual battery on this on the bottom of the segway is just completely cold no problem at all <laughs> 